Hey, what's going on guys? This is Dan Makes Games, and we're coming back to you today with the second part of a tutorial series, which is how to complete Wild Wednesday as quickly as possible. Probably within 20, 30 minutes, it's going to combine the last tutorial, or like the first one of this year, and a little bit something different, but it's going to be the fastest way to complete Wild Wednesday. That's the bottom line of it. If you've been playing the game for a while, you probably know this method. It is literally the simplest way to do it. But if you're new to the game, this is where the tutorial sort of comes in for you. I wanted to show you the sort of way that the pros and the people that played the game for a long time uh, finish Wild Wednesday in next to no time at all, and the easiest way to do it with absolute Absolutely no stress, no sweat involved. Anyways, if you guys go on to enjoy this tutorial, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more uh, WWE Supercar tutorials, pack openings, and a lot of other content coming real, real soon. But anyway, let's get into it. So for Wild Wednesday, I've never really been a fan of wild mode, so I've never really liked doing this quest, especially within 24 hours. Um, originally when I started doing it, I had no idea about how to make wild, wild really easy to get the perfect games, but you know, there's a there's a specific way to do it. Uh, so essentially, the rest of the challenges are really easy, such as getting uh, the 100 draft picks off the board, and that takes no time at all. Same with reset the draft board, not a problem. Uh, the ex uh, win consecutive games in wild, that can be an issue for some people, as well as going undefeated in wild as well. Um, to be fair, those are the only two that can potentially cause you a problem, but generally speaking, it's not too bad. Uh, so let me just show you the quick way to do it. We're going to combine this a little bit with the last tutorial about how to uh, reset draft picks really quickly. That way you can do all the draft picks and the resets within like 10 minutes on this game. So that's super easy. Why is it whenever I film a tutorial there's network errors? Come on, Supercard, let's do better than this. When we go into wild games, my deck is roughly WrestleMania 37 plus. If I autofill it, it goes to plus plus, including my brand new full heroic RVD, my second ever full heroic card since SummerSlam 19 tier. But yeah, I enjoyed streaming every minute of that one. So hit like on the video for like show an appreciation for that one. That was that was a grind and a half, you guys know that. Um, but yeah, when we play this one, you know that even with WrestleMania 37 plus uh, plus, it might be hard to beat some of the plus players, right? And they can always have, you know, overrun and stuff like that that can always like really mess you up. So the easiest way to do Wild Wednesday really quickly is to go into your cards, edit the deck, and custom edit them, so swap. But instead of going for top tier cards, what you want to do is look for cards either in your legacy tier or like Gothic and Neon, for example. So low tier cards. In this instance, you can use legacy. But what you can do is uh, pick the lower cards and watch the tier drop. So when it drops down a little bit, down to Batista and then one more, Chris Jericho, you can see we're already down to WrestleMania 36 plus. But that's because we still got the female cards in. If we switch those out to Alexa Bliss and Lita with my new image as well that I got. I like that one, just wanted to put that out there. Um, we're now down to WrestleMania 35 base tier. So then when we click off of that, we go onto WrestleMania 35 and you have to click off of it for this to work. So when you click off of it, you're against WrestleMania 35 players because you've got a WrestleMania 35 tier deck. What you then do is go autofill. You've got to reopen it first, otherwise if you autofill it, once you change it without closing this menu, it puts you back to the same tier you're on. But once you've done that, look at it. You're still against WrestleMania 35s, but I'm now currently using my top tier set of cards. You will go against uh, players with WrestleMania 35 tier cards. So cards that only have maybe 100,000 points, less than, more than, slightly. But when I'm going up against like with my RPD with this got 8 million in charisma, it's not going to be any sort of comparison here. So it doesn't matter which card you play, it will auto play at this point, but it doesn't matter what you play, you are guaranteed the win. So you can see here the point difference. And this doesn't mean you have to be top tier to do this. You can be any tier you want and it will go down. The only downside of it is that it has changed over the years and it used to be that you could uh, change it once and it would stay the same for a long period of time. So when you put it in WrestleMania 35, you could probably go through all 10 bouts in WrestleMania 35 tier. Generally speaking, now you get about three games before you have to do the reset again and change your cards back down so that it drops back down to WrestleMania 35, as you'll see at the end of this match. Again, this is a perfect, easy 10-0. But once it's done, uh, the next time you go back to the draft board, it goes up a tier very slightly, so now up to WrestleMania, and it will go up each time. And on about the third or fourth time round, it will be back at the current tier your cards are at. But you can just do the reset again, so you get your consecutive wins done really easily, and of course your perfect games too. It's a super easy method, but I'm aware that not everybody is aware of it in the game. And um, if you're like myself and not really a big fan of wild mode, uh, then this might be the, the ideal method for you. But yeah, I wanted to do this tutorial just because I know there's new players to the game now, especially after WrestleMania hype, that might need this sort of tutorial for it. But there's this and a bunch of other tutorials I've got lined up to do, along with a couple other pack opening videos and all that sort of stuff too. So it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to doing more YouTube content and I'm going to try and get it like roughly one video up a week and I've got something special like lined up for you, possibly within the next week. Um, and that might be a little mini series for WWE Supercard that's a little bit different, but it should be a lot of fun. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. The other part of the quest though that you might want to speed up to if you're running out of time, uh, it revolves around the last sort of tutorial as well and it's how to get draft picks really, really quickly. So I mean, I've got a lot stored up there so I won't go through and play the full game for it. But essentially what you can do is you can go into Money in the Bank the same way we have done before. If you play about Money in the Bank, you get 50 super coins for it and you also get five draft picks. With the 50 super coins you've got, then you can go into rewards or into the superstore of any kind 
whichever way you want to go into it. And once you're in there, for example, what you want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom, use the same strategy we used for the other deck, click on the draft pick packs, 25 draft picks for 45 super coins, because then every win you get, you get five draft picks plus one of these packs, so making 30 draft picks per game of money in the bank. With five games, you can do 150. That's more than enough you need for your quest, and will be more than enough for your resets too. Additionally, if that's not, somehow not enough for your resets and you're really unlucky and you go down to almost your last draft pick every time, then by the time you've done the 10 wild games as well, that will be super simple and super easy. So here we are about 20 minutes after the start of the video was started filming, something like that, not very long at all, but we've now got my Wild Wednesday stuff to open and we're going to end the video on that one. So of course, if you have wanted to like it, please make sure to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, go check out some of the pack opening videos we've done and will do again in the future. But anyway, without any further ado, let's just claim the rest of this stuff, see what we're going to go for. We've got more than enough tickets to claim some packs on stream this weekend over on twitch.tv forward slash Uh Some credits, we're always happy for some credits, even if it's 10, it was still 10 credits. So that's all good. Okay, so the first support. Haven't got a many 37 support cards just yet, so we're going to see what we get. Still not got one, but it's another table. <laughs> I find it funny because chat always reckons I'm going to get a behemoth table from the uh, exclusive draft board reset, but this time it's now Swarm. So, gotta love that. Does not give me high hopes for getting a Mania card out of the Wild Wednesday, but we're going to see what we get. Okay, nothing, but we have got potential in here for some nice cards, actually. We've got two Rumble cards in there, might get some pros out of it, we'll see. Uh, Flash Morgan Webster, and... Okay. So, kind of a very meh sort of pack opening, but still, it's all good. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.